Good evening, my name's Edward Crouch, I'm Conservative Councillor for Maureen Wood and thank you for stopping by to see, watch, view number four, video number four that I have done since uh, being um, elected to serve the fantastic people of Worthing. The uh, point of these videos is to, I guess, show democracy in action, show and tell exactly what councils get up to in making decisions that affect um, you, us, Worthing. Um, this video is a little bit late, I apologise. Um, the reason it's late, kind of the reason it's late, is that the meeting that uh, I'm going to discuss, which was the planning, planning committee meeting of the 23rd of July, went on quite late. 10.35, I believe, to quote um, Ollie Paul from Twitter, uh, the um, reporter. 10.35pm is when it finished, and bear in mind it started at 6.30. It's a long, old meeting. Um, so anyone who questions whether or not um, their councillors um, you know, work for their, um, their allowance, yeah, it was quite a long meeting. Um, I regretted. I uh, regretted drinking so much water in it, and uh, there weren't many toilet breaks. Anyway, I'll, I'll get to business. Um, I'll, I'll try and keep the video short. Five minutes is the aim. Um, and yeah, so there's quite a lot on the agenda, so I'll, I'll crack to it. First item was the Jolly Brewers site. That was an item that was deferred from the previous meeting. Um, it was deferred to allow the uh, applicant to uh, demonstrate um, some sustainability issues. At the meeting, um, the application was turned down. Um, it was turned on, on design grounds. Now, it was the question was asked whether or not um, being turned down on design grounds when the application had been deferred for sustainability reasons was was fair, and I believe it was. I believe it was fair um, because at the meeting, the previous meeting where it was deferred, the question of sustainability was raised by um, by a, another councillor who was speaking against the application, which kind of dead-ended the discussion from my remembrance of the first meeting that was it it was like no sustainability right well best um you know can't do it we'll we'll move on um so i do feel that had that sustainability question not been raised then there may have been more of a discussion about other issues um certainly councillor vicky vaughan who was also at the meeting said that had she been in attendance at the previous meeting design concerns would have been raised I spoke quite frankly about what I thought of, of the design um, and I, I said that the only thing I found um, attractive about it was the fact that it looked like a bar of chocolate. I got told off slightly by the officer saying that was slightly unfair but the, the design was ropey to be quite frank um, and I think the people of that street deserve much better. The building next door isn't beautiful, the building on the other side isn't beautiful, the buildings opposite are and I believe quite strongly that the, the application for the square uh, block, brown block, um, really swore at, um, at the properties opposite and it didn't improve the area and I kind of got the impression that it was, well, it's an area of mixed character which means there's nothing specific but I, I'd take the view and the, the committee agreed that actually is it making the area better or is it making the area worse or, or, or what it, what's it for, what's it doing um, and the decision was made to um, to refuse the application, that was refused. Um, as to what happens next with regards to the negotiations on, on what the applicant may choose to do with the land, um, that's a completely separate matter and um, I'm sure that all of the people worthy, certainly people um, interested in, in um, the land being purchased by a county authority, will be waiting with bated breath, but that certainly isn't a planning consideration. The second application, I'm not doing very well, yeah, we're doing alright, we're doing alright, five minutes. Um, Sainsbury's, 68 to 70 Little Hampton Road. A bit of a strange application, this, because the way I read it was that the car wash isn't actually selling the land. But nonetheless, Sainsbury's want to uh, turn into a Sainsbury's local. Um, some concerns were raised by residents about parking. Um, you see a theme in, in Worthing about parking. And about access, I must say, I use that car wash and I'll be devastated to see it go. Um, but it's a very narrow site, and concerns were raised over um, the accessibility of a big lorry um, and there was a bit of debate with members of the public and the applicants, Sainsbury's themselves, about the accessibility for a lorry. Um, some querying over the experts which is always difficult because I'm not an expert on lorry turning circles um, but they had experts and anyway there's a bit of a debate. That one's been deferred. It was recommended uh, by the planning officers for approval uh, it's been deferred to allow for more information, which I think is the best decision because um, 
I don't object to this kind of store. Um, you know, it's it's providing a need. I understand that people use it for top up shopping, not your weekly shop, and people be in and out, in and out. But I was concerned that it was quite narrow. Um, but we will see. That will come back again soon for more information on on whether or not it's physically practical to uh, to put a big lorry in it. Thirty Marine Drive that was another one, relatively um, a bit controversial. Uh, that was. Uh, it's, at the moment it's a property in Goring, um, which is an old uh, sort of Art Deco building, green roof, uh, not in great condition, but the applicant there, Seagulls, um, definitely in Worthing this video, uh, Seagulls uh, making a cameo appearance. Yeah, 30 Marine Drive, um, the application was to remodel it, kind of was rebuilding it, but it was remodeling it to make it look um, very modern. Um, I liked it. Um, my ward is, is Marine Ward, um, the best ward in Worthy, if I might point that out. Um, and we've got some fantastic new developments uh, along the um, along the seafront that are new, they're modern, they're, they're bold, they stand out and they look fantastic. Um, the recommendation was to approve and I supported it. I, I stuck my hand up and I was disappointed that the application was um, by the committee was turned down. Um, there was a precedent, planning permission had been given um, for demolition of the of the building <clears throat> in 2008 um, but the, the main arguments everyone in the committee seemed to be in agreement it's fantastic design look great lovely but not for goring um, marine ward we're quite happy to have um, to have some really fabulous developments and um, I think they really raised the area up and I must say that I was when I was elected I said that um, uh, planning should be done sensitively and I think that actually um, this application considering what was there already, um, should have gone through. But it's a democratic process. Um, I was outnumbered. There were two of us voting uh, in favour, I think six against. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, I think it would have would have looked good. Um, but there we go. That's the way that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, 15 Byron Road, it's not five Byron Road was um, to do with an annex an extension uh, for the Worthing Church's Homes project. Um, long story short, that one was delegated back to the planning officers to uh, to go further on. There were some issues and some negotiations to do with light um, that uh, one of the objectors had raised, but it sounded like the developers were being quite um, uh, flexible there and were um, prepared to negotiate. Um, the other two on the agenda were to do with an extension. It was Peveril Road and Elm Grove. They were to do with minor uh, adjustments. Uh, extensions and UPVC cladding. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know how we made it last four hours to be honest, but it, it was it was long, but it was good. And I think actually, if anyone cares about about planning issues or any council issue, the meetings are public. So come along. Uh, there's there's free drinks um, in the form of, of of chilled water, so you can come along. You can have a, a free water courtesy of Worthing Borough Council, um, and you can get to listen to some pretty 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 decent debate um and actually you'll, you'll see yeah you'll see how, how it works so do come down um i don't know the date for the next planning meeting off the top of my head but they're monthly um and i imagine the same will be on there again at plus some others uh, there's some big developments coming up in worthing some really exciting stuff so do come down and um, thank you for watching the video i won't waffle on failed miserably to stick to five minutes um I'm not paid by the word at all. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please comment down below. I hope this video is not nuked and I'm sort of talking and nothing's happening in it. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But thank you. Um, please comment. Please share this video with anyone who you think might care. And yes, the next meeting is tomorrow, which is joint overview and scrutiny. Um, that's, that's the agenda. It's quite big. Um, work on that one next. So thank you for watching and um, I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.